Hi, this is Eric Van Landingham for Acoustica, and I am going to show you how to uh, record, mix, edit, master, and output a complete song within Mixcraft. Um, as you can see up here, the song is called Great Mistake, dubbed so by the vocalist in the band that I play in. Uh, he wrote the lyrics, and he is also going to be singing it. Um, for now, I've recorded the drum track to start with, and as you can see on track one, we have the kick drum, track two, snare drum, and so on, tom one, tom two, tom three, floor tom one, floor tom two, hi-hat, overhead right, overhead center, overhead left, and ride cymbal. Uh, I will do a tutorial later on on how to mic a drum kit, but for now, we're just going to continue with the task at hand. Since the uh, I'm, I'm doing each instrument separately, I recorded the drums first, and what I needed to do was give a four count or an eight count for uh, reference for the bass and guitar when those get recorded. And I'll play that for you right here on this hi-hat track. You can see there are eight hits before the actual playing starts. seven, eight, play starts. Once the uh, guitar and bass are recorded, that will be erased in the final mix, so you don't hear anything except for everyone starting at the same time. Next thing we'll do is we have to tweak each instrument on the drum set to sound decent. Right now it's just a dry drum kit. You can hear that. Absolutely no effects. No EQing. So we need to tweak the drum set. The first thing I'll do is start with the kick drum and tweak it to get it in the ballpark uh, as far as how I would like it to sound. So what I'm going to do is zoom in I'm using my mouse wheel to zoom in on a kick drum beat. There's one right there. And I want to loop that, but I do want to loop around where there are other sounds so I can get those out with a gate. So I'm going to select here to here. That'll give me one kick drum beat and two snare hits. And I'll click the loop button right here. And I want to solo the kick drum track. Well, let's hear what that sounds like. Notice you can hear the snare drum. So we want to get that snare drum out of there. And the way I'm going to do that is use a third-party VST plugin gate. There are a few out there for free. Um, just search around Google or other websites who have lists of free VSTs. Personally, I use PSP AudioWare's uh, gate. And so I'll click on Effects right here and select an effect. Go down to PSP Mix Gate 2. Move that out of the way so I can see my kick drum track as it plays. I'm going to click Edit, which brings up the gate. And they have a preset, which you can't see off the screen there. They have a preset for kick only, which gets it right around the ballpark to where you want to be. So I'm going to click Play. Notice the snare's gone, but so is everything else. So I'll bring the threshold down. And that got rid of the, uh, the snare hits for us. Now to make sure that that's going to be okay, I'm going to make sure that it doesn't take out lighter kick hits. Like right here, I did a double 
kick hit and I want to make sure that that first lighter hit still exists. And it does, so we seem to be okay there. Now uh, as far as EQing the kick drum, I'm going to just uh, loop that, that single kick hit, hit play, and go to the mixer within Mixcraft. And generally with uh, kick drums, you want to take out mid-range and add high-end. So we'll take out some mid. Add a little bit of high for some click. Okay, that's about as far as I can go with the uh, three-band parametric EQ here. So we'll go back to the effects and select <clears throat> an equalizer to use. You can use the Acoustica EQ. I prefer to use the uh, Anwita 31-band EQ. Again, you can search around the internet and find uh, free VST plugins. And I did do a tutorial you can find here on YouTube that uh, I believe it's called adding third-party VST effects for use with Mixcraft. So I'm going to click Edit, which gives me my 31 band. I'm going to click Play and start to find frequencies that I don't like. That one didn't make much difference. Leave a little 800 in. 1K, if raised up, kind of sounds uh, cardboardish. Pull that 1K out, gives you much more of a snap. About the same thing with the 1.2. Pull down these low mids, and that will generally take out uh, the flubbing or the, uh, the bad low end of the kick drum so it doesn't interfere with your bass guitar or anything else. And something else I would like to explain. <clears throat> Your kick drum is generally not going to put out a lot of sub lows like 20 and 25. So I generally pull those about halfway down. And work my way back up. Your, uh, your real kick drum lows usually come anywhere from uh, 40, 50, 60. 80, and then 100 is about uh, uh, the low end that a bass guitar gives off, so you don't want to boost that. You're going to interrupt your, uh, going to clash with your bass guitar. So we'll pull down the 160, the 125, maybe add some 80 and some 63. Now I want a little more click, but I don't like the click that that's there, so I need to find that. Right in there. Yep, don't like that one either. 